Hello, hello, and welcome back once again to Hokkaido, and today we are going to take care of a few of the leftover feats and discoveries and redacted challenges, starting with the Impossible Heights redacted challenge, which is just get up on the roof of the hospital. Uh, then we will take care of Cutthroat, which is assassinate someone with a shuriken while disguised as the ninja. And then we'll, from there we will move on and take care of the Young Hyro uh, challenge, which is basically doing the exact same thing for the last challenge, but five times. So, five people, five targets, five shurikens. And then finally we will move on to the meet, We Meet Again Redacted challenge, which is basically release the guy who's locked in the freezer. So for this I have created my own contract and the contract ID is up on the screen as we speak. And these will be our five targets. As you can see they're all members from around the morgue area. And that will be the focus of our attack today. And for this we will be bringing with us uh, I'll make you six seeker one gun, a silence pistol, obviously we're going to need some shurikens and a disposable scrambler and we have to start on the mountain path as the ninja because we need the ninja outfit as well. So uh, right from the start off the bat what we're going to do is make our way down the mountain path and we're going to pull out our silence pistol and when we get to the bend in the mountain path which is just up ahead of us here we have hopefully paused long enough right at the start that the two patrolling guards are moving away as you can see so we're just going to shoot the camera that's just below us continue down the mountain path all the way down by the side of the hospital until we come to a locked door just on our right here so we're going to use our hacker on the locked door and then we're going to climb the drain pipe that's just to the right of the door and we're going to climb all the way up to the top and up onto the roof and once we're up here that will get us the impossible heights redacted challenge so just scoot along the edge a little bit up onto the roof and the challenge should pop for us there we go so all we've got to do now is wait for our opportunity to get back down again. We're going to get down the same way, but we are going to wait for those two patrolling guards to make their way past us. And once they start getting relatively close to underneath us, we can start climbing down. So back down over the ledge and scoot along to the pipe be aware where the guards are they have now passed us so straight down back to the ground and into the unlocked door and down into the morgue area so we're going to select our make you sick dark uh, not our make you sick dark our shurikens make our way into the security office in the morgue and we're going to take out our first target with a thrown shuriken so that will get you the cutthroat challenge so while we're in here, we're going to take out the surveillance system, retrieve our shuriken, and hide the guard's body. We'll take his gun as well while we're here. So that's one of our five targets taken care of with the shuriken. We're going to take the gun we've just collected, and we're going to place it on the floor by the dead motorcyclist. And then just over by this gurney here, we will find a scalpel. And we're going to make our way from here into the little storage area and retrieve our Seeker 1 gun. We're going to reselect our scalpel. This will be our distraction device. And we're going to make our way back round into the morgue area where the mortician with the neuro chip hat is. And what we're going to do is we're just going to throw the scalpel next to the gun and we're going to hide in the security room. Uh, one of the morticians will spot the gun they will go over to the room containing Eric Soda's heart and they will get one of the guards in there to come and investigate who just so happens to be one of our targets. So while we're waiting for all this to happen we're going to select our shurikens 
We're going to stay nicely plugged up behind this wall here until the guard passes us. And the second the guard has passed us, we're going to break cover. He's going to make his way onto the stairs to our right. And we need to eliminate him as fast as possible. So as soon as he goes past us, just throw our shuriken as quickly as we can. We don't want him to get too far up the stairs, just in case the patrolling guards who just walked past there spot him. So with him now dead, that's two of uh, our young hero challenge uh, targets taken care of. So we're just going to hide this guy's body down in this basement area down here. There is a cupboard down here. So with this guy nicely tucked up and tucked away, basically what we're going to do is rinse and repeat once again for the second guard that's in the heart chamber room. So we're just going to go and retrieve the other guard's gun. And back into the morgue. And we're just going to replace our gun by the motorcyclist. Recollect our scalpel and reset the trap so once again just throw the scalpel straight back into the security office behind the door select our shurikens and wait for the mortician to go and fetch our next target and exactly the same as the first uh, guard we wait for him to collect the gun go past us and we take him out on the stairs as quickly as possible So once he picks up the gun and as soon as he moves past us and into the stairwell we're going to break cover, target him as quickly as possible and eliminate him before the patrolling guards outside have a chance to see what's going on if they're about. So once again we're just going to take the body, we're going to drag his body and we're going to put him in the locker in the security room and retrieve our shuriken. So right, that's three of our four or five targets should I say down. Just once again going to retrieve the guard's gun and this time what we're going to do is we're going to take out the two morticians next and the way we're going to do this is we're going to make one of them sick so that the other one is left alone with us. So I was thinking I'll take the shot from here, but I was also thinking it's a little close. So we're just going to go back over to where we picked up the scalpel. We're going to shoot the mortician with the neurochip remote in his head. He's going to wander off to be sick. And when he does, we can select our shurikens and we can take out the other mortician who has been left behind. So the first mortician has now exited the room, so shuriken to that guy and we're going to grab his body and we're going to hide him in the furnace in the next room. We're just not going to turn the furnace on. It doesn't matter if we do, he's already dead. So with this guy now safely tucked up, once again we're going to retrieve our shuriken. We're going to plug ourselves back up behind the door here. I'm just having a good look around, make sure I haven't left anything lying around. So I think the best place to hide will be just behind this door here. And we're just going to wait for the Neurochip Remote Mortician to return. And by the miracles of modern technology, here he comes now. So as soon as he's back in position and has his back to us, we're going to break cover, target him with our shuriken, and take him out. And that will get us the Young Hyro Challenge. So all we've got left to do now is stash his body up in a furnace as well. For a split second there, I thought I might be able to put him in with a heart, but the door locked on me. So we're going to go to the furnace, dump his body, retrieve our shuriken, and we're going to move on to our fourth and final objective, which will be we meet again. 
So just out of the uh, heart chamber room on the wall, we will find a control panel. Oh, holy shit. I thought I was going to turn into a popsicle. You, Mr. Smith. Wait, you... You were at the Pinecone Place in California. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were following me. But you do, so you won't. Right. So, what the hell are you doing here? No? Silent type, right. Yeah, me first. Okay. All right. I'm with Interpol now. I was working a case. Organ harvesting. Real bad business. I followed the trail from Rio, but Dr. Ito, uh, he's the one they call the curator. He found me snooping around and locked me up in the freezer. <sighs> okay, now you. You should get out of here. <laughs> yeah, good advice. That's, that's right. Oh, wait. I found this in the curator's office. Knowing you, it'll probably come in handy. Thanks. No, thank you. That's thrice I owe you. Good hunting. Right, so with that taken care of, that will get us the We Meet Again Challenge. Now, I don't think this one actually pops until we've exited the mission, which is exactly what we're heading for now. So, we're going to make our way back onto the stairs. And as you can see, our two patrolling guards are up at the mountain path entrance. So, I'm going to make my way through the security office and see if I can't get to the snow ski exit which is just at the other end of this tunnel here. But I don't actually want to risk going past them too. So we are going to go for the mountain path exit. And hopefully by the time we get back to the basement stairwell, the two patrolling guards will hopefully, look at that timing, will just pass the door. And we can make our way through the door and up the mountain path. Uh, be aware that when you get to the corner here, there could very well be a couple of doctors outside having a cigarette. If they're out there, you'll just have to wait them out. But luckily they weren't here for me, so I'm going to continue on up the mountain path and towards the mountain path exit. So there you go, that's the Impossible Heights Challenge redacted. The We Meet Again Challenge redacted the Young Hyro Challenge and the Cutthroat Challenge. I have been Anubis. I will see you all in the next video.